okay next problem is uh, using convolution theorem find the inverse laplace transform of uh, s divided by s square plus 1 into s square plus 4 how to start this problem you start assuming like this let a bar of s is equal to 1 divided by s square plus 1 and take g bar of s is equal to s divided by s square plus 4 see even sometimes some teachers they will take a f bar of s as s divided by s square plus 1 and g bar of s is equal to 1 divided by s square plus 4 that way also we can start the problem ok now I am assuming like this now what is f of t means uh, inverse Laplace transform of uh, f bar of s that is L inverse of 1 divided by s square plus 1 1 divided by s square plus 1 means you know sin t because here 1 square so a is 1 sin a t means sin 1 t next g of t is equal to L inverse of g bar of s so L inverse of s divided by s square plus 4 this is so this can be written as L inverse of s divided by s square plus 2 square this is nothing but cos 2t this is nothing but cos 2t now what is the L inverse of s divided by s square plus 1 into s square plus 4 is equal to integral u is equal to 0 to t sin t into cos of 2 times of t minus u into du this is ok according to the formula now this can be written as u is equal to 0 to t sin t into cos of 2t minus 2u into du ok you know sin a cos b formula sin a cos b formula is what half of sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b i'll repeat this integration of that is sin a sin b uh, sin a cos b means half of sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b according to that half you keep it outside integral u is equal to 0 to t okay so sin of this is a is 1t b is 2t minus 2u a plus b means 3t minus 2u plus sin of a minus b t minus of 2t plus 2u that is minus t plus 2u into du this is okay into do you this is now this is nothing but half into integration of the sine is minus cos of 3t minus 2u divided by minus 2 with respect to u integration minus cos of uh, minus t plus 2u divided by 2 this is with respect to u u is equal to 0 to t now substituting the upper limit and the lower limits uh, what we get means half into substitute the t value 3t minus 2t is t so minus minus get cancels uh, cos of t divided by 2 this is then again minus lower limit uh, t value minus t plus 2t means that is t so cos t by 2 this is ok so then again next uh, then minus of lower limit so u is 0 cos 3t divided by cos 3t divided by 2 this is then minus of this value u is equal to 0 means that is cos of minus t is cos t ok so minus of this is cos of minus t divided by 2 So next is from this half into half into this uh, cos t cos t by 2 get cancels then again plus 
this and this get cancels minus cos of 3t divided by 2 minus into minus is plus cos of minus theta is cos theta only cos of t by 2 so final answer is uh, 1 by 2 is common LCM take it outside so 1 by 4 so first positive value cos t then minus cos 3t divided by 2 2 is a 4 this is this is your solution okay so find the inverse Laplace transform of this function okay using convolution theorem means uh, this is the answer now next problem next problem find the inverse Laplace transform of uh, 1 divided by s into s square plus 2 s plus 2 using convolution theorem how to start let f bar of s is equal to 1 by s and g bar of s is equal to 1 divided by s square plus 2 s plus 2 this is okay next is f of t we need f of t so l inverse of f bar of s that is equal to l inverse of 1 by s that is equal to 1 and g of t is equal to l inverse of g bar of s that is equal to l inverse of 1 divided by s square plus 2 s plus 2 that is equal to l inverse of 1 divided by s plus 1 whole square plus 1 how means uh, you split this to 2 as 1 plus 1 s square plus 2s plus 1 as x plus 1 whole square uh, then this plus 1 no, we can keep it like this this uh, in terms uh, we can write it as l inverse of 1 divided by s square plus 1 uh, where s tends to s plus 1 we can write like this and this is nothing but this one now uh, we can write it as e to the power of minus t l inverse of 1 divided by s square plus 1 this is that is nothing but e to the power of minus t sin t this is g of t so now 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 l inverse of 1 divided by s into s square plus 2 s plus 2 can be written as you know f of t star g of t this can be written as g of t star f of t okay so this one now this can be written as u is equal to 0 to t g of u f of t minus u into du this is du now this can be written as integral u is equal to 0 to t e to the power of minus u sin u into 1 into du this is because uh, 1 means nothing but f of t minus u f of u is f of t is 1 now. so therefore f of t minus u is nothing but 1 only now you know e to the power of minus a b sin okay so b x e to the power of a x sin b x dx integration is e to the power of a x divided by a square plus b square into a into sin b minus b into cos b According to that, uh, we use uh, a minus 1 whole square plus 1 square okay, into minus 1 into sin u minus 1 into cos u. Okay, so this is 0 to t. This is now we simplify this. We simplify this. This is e to the power of minus u divided by 2 minus sin u minus cos u u is equal to 0 to t so now substituting t value we get uh, e to the power of minus t divided by 2 minus sin t minus cos t this is upper limit minus this u is equal to 0 means u is equal to 0 means e to the power of minus 0 is 1 1 divided by 2 into sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 minus 1 okay so next step is
Okay. Now we get uh, from this one no? e to the power of. Okay. We get e to the power of minus t divided by two minus sine t minus cos t plus one by two. LCM is two. One by two, you take it outside. Plus one minus of e to the power minus t into sine t plus cos t. This is your solution. Okay, this is your solution.